Part continuous intervention or PCI is a procedure where we go and fix the blockages in the coronary arteries or the arteries of the leg. We access the heart usually from the groin or from the radial artery in the hand. Then we place a plastic tube which goes all the way to the artery and then fix the blockage. To prepare for PCI, we basically tell the patients not to eat or drink anything after midnight. If patients are on blood pressure medication or other heart medication, they can continue them. If they, have, they are on any diabetic medication, we tell them to reduce the dose by half. Part continuous intervention or PCI is performed just like heart cath. We access the heart either from the groin or from the radial artery. A plastic tube is passed which is placed at the entrance of the coronary arteries and then once we image the blockage, we try to open the blockage with the help of a balloon. Initially a wire is passed, the wire goes through the blockage and then a balloon opens the blockage. And then we insert a stent. A stent is something like a spring of a ballpoint pen. It is made of stainless steel and then it keeps the art artery open. The stents commonly come in two flavors. One is a drug eluting stent, which has drug coating on the outside, and second is a non-drug eluting stent. Depending on the nature of blockage, the length and the size of the blockage, we can choose different kind of stents. A similar procedure can also be performed in the legs or in the kidney arteries. We go from the groin and then find the blockage in the leg, and then open the blockage with a balloon, and if needed, we insert a stent. The risks of PCI or percutaneous intervention are very similar to heart cath. There is 1%, 1 in 100 chance of having pain, infection, or bleeding. There is 1 in 300 chance of having a stroke. When we go up with the catheter in the big arteries, Sometimes it can knock off a plaque sitting there which goes to the brain causing stroke. Rarely the dye can affect the kidneys or it can cause an allergic reaction. There is one in thousand chance of something bad happening on the table. When we open the blockage with a balloon, sometimes it can rupture the artery, causing bleeding around the heart, leading to open heart surgery. But again, these things are very rare, one in thousand.